What is going on YouTube? I've been asked, you know, what are some YouTube channels that I personally enjoy, that I watch, and, you know, it's crazy guys. Over the years, my, what do I wanna say, my, it's crazy, it's just, I, I've grown and changed so much over the years watching um, YouTube that it just, I jump around so much. When my first when I first started watching YouTube and getting into retro gaming and everything, I was watching channels like Metal Jesus Rocks, uh, Game Grumps, you know, Pixel Game Squad, uh, John Riggs, and over the years it's really changed. So I remember like follow, I remember when I first started following like John Riggs and them. They only had like ten to fifteen thousand subscribers, and I was a huge fan of the Metal Jesus Rocks crew and Metal Jesus Rocks himself, but I don't really watch that stuff anymore, guys. Um, I just feel like I was a big fan of pickup videos for the longest time. Like that's all I like to watch, and now I'm watching, you know, some channels like Radical Reggie, Metal Jesus Rocks, and a lot of those other guys, and I'm just not into it as much anymore. Um, and it's nothing against their channels, guys. Like, and obviously they they don't care what I think because you know I'm just some low low life or well not low life but you know some low sub counted retro gaming channel that's one out of a million, literally probably one out of a million on YouTube. But it's just like over the years, how my progression has changed of what I've watched. Um, now, honestly, I, I love the smaller channels more than anything. And it's absolutely insane. So, like, I'm pulling up my subscriptions right now. And some of these channels that really stand out to me, uh, The Pickin' Preacher, I discovered him yeah, not so long ago. Very great guy. Um, very, uh, you know, into his community. He is a reseller. And just... just very like this editing and all that uh, another youtuber I'm looking at right now uh, Mort's garage I love Mort's editing and storytelling is absolutely freaking amazing like nowadays with a lot of the ways that YouTube and stuff goes uh, TikToks, reels shorts everybody's attention span has dropped dramatically I feel like but the way that Mort edits his videos it's so off the wall and jumping around that it keeps my attention for the whole time. Besides him and Pixel Game Squad, Game Chasers, and some of those other channels like that, it's hard for me to sit down and watch a 20-30 minute video. It is. But those channels make it easy. Mort's like... There was one day at work, I think I sat there and I watched three of Mort's videos in a row. Just couldn't get enough of it. Uh, obviously I talked about Game Grumps. I still watch Game Grumps. Um, and I and I I love game that uh, Aaron and Dan make me laugh so freaking much. It's absolutely insane. Even after all these years, I can't stop watching Game Grumps. And those are some of the bigger channels that I still kind of stay with. Uh, another fun channel I love to watch is popping up right here. Omega Omega Ace Gaming. Uh, Jose is such a great guy. I love his streams. He doesn't really do the long form videos, but he always has the best streams. And I always love going into streams because not only does he play games that entertain me and he's got such fun environment, but everybody that's in his stream in the chat is good natured. They're fun to talk to. And just my friends. It's just it's like going over to your buddy's house, hanging out, talking to your friends while he's playing a game in the background and you all just interact together. Love it. Uh, let's see. Going down here a little farther. Um, do do do. Jeez, I'm not seeing as much as normal. Oh, there's Mort's Garage right there. Oh, here's a random one. Chris Bumstead. Uh, big fan of Chris Bumstead. I know a lot of you guys that aren't into fitness and stuff like that will not understand. You know, they, they, you know, don't know who he is. But even if you do, like, uh, I love Chris's videos. He's a very laid back guy. Really cool. Um, and I, I, I love lifting weights guys, you know, and I'm, and I am man and my secondary job is actually, 
managing a gym. So, yeah, it's I'm a big fan of Chris Bumstead. Um, and as a lot of you know, recently I have joined up with Super Retro Force. So there's a lot of good channels in there, and you have you know like Mad Belmont, Retro Complex, Rad Bash Gaming, and a few of the other great guys. And if you want to go check them out, make sure you go to the com or the description below. I have links to all their channels. Great guys. But even like right now, uh, I see a video that the Mad Belmont put out called I Finally Played Mega Man. And the smaller channels put their heart and soul into videos. And it might not be the fanciest editing. It might not be the best post-production. It might not be some of this other insanely stuff. But they have passion. They know what they're talking about. And they love video games. And... I love that. That's what makes me a fan of those channels so much. Uh, I'm trying to. There's so many great channels, and I'm just rolling through right now, and I'm just trying to point out a couple other ones that I might not have discussed very much about. And if I'm leaving you guys out, I'm sorry. I don't want you know. Don't want to think that I'm not thinking of you. I'm just kind of. Uh, Steve Craig Retro Games. He has the video right here. He does a handheld game of the week. I've been friends with Steve for years now. Probably a good four years at least. Uh, I was around, both of us kind of started YouTube, I feel like, together. And over the years, we've done, you know, trades, talked about stuff. So much that I've had so much fun with him that, you know, I actually have his phone number to text him and talk to him. I mean, that's how close I got with some of these guys. That's how great this is. Uh, people don't understand. That honestly, you know, being, uh, yeah, I mean, you're, uh, if you're not in the scene in real life, local stuff, like a lot of my friends don't understand the video games and love them as much as I do. Yes, they play Call of Duty or they play, you know, Madden, stuff like that. But a lot of you guys share the complete passion to play all kinds of game, retro gaming, modern and stuff. So it's always so fun to that I made more friends online and able to talk about this stuff and make these videos than ever. Um, Happy Console Gamer. I've been a big fan of his for many years. No, I swear he's, you know, I was a huge RPG fan and he is, and he's been around YouTube, yeah, like forever. I don't even know how many years, but I've always enjoyed his videos. He's been such great stuff. Uh, let's see here. I'm trying to see... Where did his video go? Um, do, 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 uh, Easy Gamer. Uh, he reached out to me one day, and we got each other's, we exchanged information, we've been talking. Um, he himself is such a great guy. Uh, absolutely love talking to him. Uh, we've been, we've done a trade in the past. I'm, I'm working on getting a box put together for him. But just loved like his thumbnails literally his thumbnails make me freaking laugh every single time i he said his wife does it but it's always a picture of him uh <laughs> it's always a picture of him in movies and the most random things and sometimes they don't even have anything to do with the video itself but they catch my attention they're amazing and they're funny and he himself shows some great clips of garage sales flea markets pawn shops and his trades and stuff that he does uh, oh, I can't, you know, obviously I can't talk about what channels I watch without talking about uh, L.A. Beast. Uh, you can see behind me, it's way back there now, but uh, uh, right back there. I have an autographed 8x10. I'm a moderator on this chat. Absolutely love the guy. Uh, great videos. I mean, he, he doesn't do... As intense videos as he once did, but I love how his channels progressed and improved. And no matter what, he's still pushing out content and he's still being himself. He's not letting you know this stuff get to him. He said he's talked in the past about uh, people trying to get him to join with contracts and stuff like that, and he's like, ah, "I'm good, I'm good." He's just he's just out there being him, and I love that. Um, oh, and I and I mentioned it before, Pixel Game Squad, uh, and Pixel Plus their podcast. There's not many channels, bigger channels, 
that I watch religiously, like every week. But every Thursday when a new Pixel Game Squad video comes out, I always jump on it and watch it. And I just feel like I'm one of the guys, you know. It's, it's, I talked about how great Mort's Garage is. It's just like the same with Pixel Game Squad. I just feel like over the years that I've watched, when I discovered them on Amazon, before I even discovered them on YouTube, and before I knew about Retro Liberty and stuff like that, and the NES Pursuit, I was I watched them since then, and I always I feel like I'm just one of the guys with them. And watching them over the years as they continue to keep going is just crazy, guys. Uh, Retro Rick is another channel that I watch. Um, I don't watch his stuff as much as I used to, but I still enjoy watching, especially his game store, because I was always curious what it would be like to uh, to run a game store and watching him show his progression over the years. And how it goes is just amazing. Uh, let's see. I just oh, gaming off the grid. My fellow Iowans, uh, Rob and Wes are great guys. I loved that like them. Their progressing of how their channel has grown. A lot of us have started around the same time, but they are absolutely killing it. And oh, great guys. I, I we've still talked about you know. I think they live about three three and a half hours away. We've been talking about going and hanging out sometime and I need to just get off my get off my butt and drive there. Uh Cinemasker. That was another name that popped up on here. Um I've been watching Angry Video Game Nerd for probably at least ten years now. And just, still to this day he mazes me and I just love watching the videos and James is just a great guy overall. Um I hear that he is most the most down to earth guy you will ever meet. Um obviously is the exact opposite of his character on YouTube and it just just blows my mind how cool it and everything with that is um, I honestly don't understand where I was going with this video guys <laughs> uh, this is the second video I recorded tonight that I just kind of started talking and I don't even know what what it was goal the goal in mind was but this has basically just been a video dedicated to what I watch on YouTube whether retro gaming fitness and stuff like that will probably throw that in the title and you know retro gaming YouTube channels that I watch uh, but I watch a lot of stuff I mean I've over the years I've really gotten away from uh, uh, of cable you know streaming and movies and stuff like that some some buddies will ask me you know have you watched the newest blah 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 movie or uh, hey have you watched the new TV show blah 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 and I'm just like uh no <laughs> no i haven't like uh i i love youtube and i love watching your guys's content and even though i don't comment a lot of times guys or comment all the time i'm still watching uh it's just my job entitles me i can have youtube pulled up but sometimes i can't interact but i'm, I'm trying to support you guys as much as i can because i know a lot of you guys when i first started supported me and it's very surreal. Uh, Pixel Plus has been has called me out twice now. I shouldn't say called me out. Sorry, shouted me out that they watch my content, and that is honestly one of the like one of the hugest things I've ever had on this YouTube on YouTube. Uh, same with La Beast, you know, a channel with he has almost three million subscribers. He's he remembers stuff that I've sent him. He remembers. I, I think it's behind me, uh, the Zapper one up there. I put that Zapper together with a 3D box. I think I did it with a Game Boy too, and he remembers that. He, uh, as he said, it's always he keeps reminding me that's one of his favorite videos is when I did a 3D box on a while back for that. And these guys are what do I want to say? Not I, not necessarily idols, uh, inspirations, um, but I am a fan. Like. I'm a fan of their channels and just being able to, I think it'd be almost as cool as meeting your, meeting a, an actor or I don't, I don't know. It's hard to explain, but I remember, uh, when I had somebody reach out to me on Instagram and say, Hey, did you see that pixel plus said something about you in their latest video? And I'm like, really? And I, and I pulled it up and you know, the biggest fear was always, uh, Oh no, they're going to talk bad about me or they didn't, they didn't like something I did. But he actually, uh, Riff had mentioned how much he loved one of the videos that he, I watched talking about how my collection was a lie and how YouTube has, you know, influenced me and stuff like that. Uh, 
which was a raw and honest video. And he talked about how much he liked it, and then they went on to discuss more about that. And I was just, I just sat there dumbfounded because I was like, holy crap, man. Like, somebody that I've been watching for years now that I love the content, that I feel like, you know, a spec compared to their greatness actually watches and enjoys some of my stuff. And it was just really surreal. Okay. Sorry, I'm just rambling on now. Uh, I just want to end this video with talking about how much I appreciate all you guys. Uh, YouTube has been a, a journey for me. And the fact that I'm able to make content, make videos that people enjoy and like to comment on is amazing. I love it. Uh, I've been lo I've always been looking for some kind of creative outlook. I used to write. I don't really write as much because I didn't feel like I was good enough to write. But I used to write in the past. And I find that this is more fun, I should say, and, e and easier almost because I'm very passionate about it. So I'm able to sit here and just do this. And if I didn't shout out your channel, I'm very sorry. It's I Like I said, I don't want any close friends to think that I don't. That I, I, I don't know like I don't know what to say like I love all you guys from the bottom of my heart and I was basically this was a spur of the moment video that I just decided to put out and I just happened to be looking for my subscribe my subscription list and these were the people that were on top that stood out but thank you guys so much for your support once again I'm sorry if I didn't mention your name and maybe I'll do another video. If you guys want to see another video like this down the road where I talk about other channels that I watch and maybe actually study more and clear up more. I, I've thought about, I used to do rant, uh, monthly shout out videos for certain channels where I'd watch a video of theirs and talk about the channel. And I used to do that more. Maybe I'll start doing that again. Let me know in the comments below if you guys want to see something like that. But that being said, guys, I've already. Pro if you're still, if you're still here at this point, 17 or so minutes in. Woof. Thank you. <laughs> uh, that being said, guys, as always, stay retro, my friends, and I will see you in the next video. And once again, thank thank you all for your support and uh, hanging out with me. I, I really appreciate it, and I mean that. So, see you later, guys. Super retro. Force.